Welcome back guys, this is Paul aka Modern Reefer and today let's take a look at my new lights. Alright guys, so these are the Orfix OR2120 which is the four footer. And this is the one that provides the blue spectrum. Um, and I have bought four of them. I'm gonna be using two on my setup and two as a spare, or I may just sell the other two if I don't need them. Anyhow, these are the latest and they have revised them. So this one's got a combination of the blues and the purples. And I will be using these two along with my Orphic Atlantic uh, v4 gen 2 so let's open one up let's take a look at it and then i want to get some part ratings to see you know what kind of light output I'm, i will be getting with uh these lights so stay tuned and let me get this opened up all right brackets these are hanging brackets Look pretty standard. So far they look pretty well packaged. So let me just get my razor and we'll open this guy up. Right here's the power supply. Not bad. However, these are not the mean well that they use on the higher end models. But as long as it works, then I'm pretty okay with it. So this is actually how they come. Even when you get the Orfix, they like to put this saran wrap over the lights themselves there it is I'm trying to get this in focus but yeah so they all come like this um this let me measure this this is probably it should be around 48 inches let's just see it's about 44 feet it's, it's uh, four feet, the aluminum piece is four feet, and then the wiring extends out about half an inch on the end. So first impression, lights, the lights look really well made. So they look pretty heavy, and you know, totally different design from the Orphic Atlantic in terms of the lighting, your LEDs, because these look different than the ones in the other one. Of course, these are all blue, so they're gonna be different. Uh, but first impression, they look really nice. And that plexiglass that they put on top of it makes it just pop. It makes it look really, really nice. Like it's high-end quality stuff. But let me take this off and then we'll get a closer look at this. All right, so this is the light. They look really nice, especially with this plexiglass piece that they put on top. Uh, it just lets you know that this is an Orphic light. So I don't believe you get this with the first model. And yeah, the first model, I believe they gave you three options in terms of lighting spectrum. But And I believe when they switched over to this, they recalibrated the um, spectrum and now they're offering two. So this blue version here has um, some purples, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll turn it on and see how they look like. Okay, so there's the lighting and it's on. And um, it looks really nice. It's got a mixture and a blend of, I see greens, blues, violets. So 
So on the screen here, it looks like it's red, um, the spectrum. Like this very first one at the end here, it's kind of pinkish, but it is actually blue to the eye. So um, some of these color are a little bit different and I can't capture it with my video, but they do look really nice. So it looks like it's got maybe one, two, three, four different colors or four different light spectrum combined together. So really nice light. Uh, there is no controllability besides on and off switch, although I've spoken with Orphic and they mentioned coming out with uh, a controller in the near future. So hopefully that comes out soon so I can get that incorporated into my setup here. Okay, so really quick, this is the simple setup. I am recording this in my office. So um, my garage is actually not set up yet. It's, it's a mess in there. I have boxes everywhere. Anyhow, uh, I decided to do it here so that I can get an idea of the PAR reading I would get from this light. Uh, again, this is not in water. This is just free air. But eventually I'll do one uh, once everything is set up on the tank. I'll go through and do another test with water, which uh, the number should fluctuate a bit. But for the sake of this test, it's going to be just open. Okay, so I got the light there. Got a, a tape measure just so I, I know where I'm at. Um, in terms of the of uh, depth and and the distance uh, between the sensor and the light itself, and then I'm using just the uh, there's just a Sennai reef monitor to measure the PAR reading. So I am going to jump off this recording here and jump onto the computer recording, and then we'll go from there. All right, so here it is. Um, this is. The unit off, so right now we have ambient light. Uh, the light for the room is actually off, but I have light coming out from outside because I have the blinds open a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing in here. Anyhow, uh, PAR is at zero, LUX is at two, Kelvin unknown per is zero percent. So that's where we're at right now. So what I'm gonna do is the sensor itself is placed about 28 inches on the ground uh, and so that's 28 inches away from the light. And let me just turn this unit on. Currently I have it at uh, right directly under the unit. So uh, presumably it will make a difference depending on you know which LED you have it under. Uh, but I am not gonna move it from here. I think this is a good starting point for this test. So just look at it now. We have around uh, about 92 par. Uh, Lux, you see there, Kelvin, of course, unknown within this range is hard to detect, and per at 83%. So I'm going to move this up closer and closer to the light, okay? So uh, right now, again, 28. Right now, we're at about 2 feet. So 106 for par and about 80% for per. Okay, let's move up a little bit closer. 20 inches away, we're getting about 121 and 81%. All right, now I'm at 16 inches away, getting about 152. Okay, that's 16 inches away. Okay, 156 that is. All right, and let me get up to one feet away. This is one feet away from the light. We're at a, around 189, 190, 81%. Okay. This is at 10 inches away, right here. Okay, 10 inches away, about 250, 249, somewhere around there. All right. And this is at 6 inches away. We're getting about, hold on, 6 inches right here, about 400. 40, 430, somewhere around there, six inches away. So this is at six inches. I'm directly under the blue, purple, greenish. So those three LEDs. Okay. Uh, six inches right here. Okay. And of course, if I go directly under, about two, in, two inches away, we're yeah, about 1500 par. But ideally, we're not going to be that close. So that's just to give you an idea. This is all the way back to the ground again. 
about 28 inches, so we get about 92 par. All right. Okay, so here is the recap. Per ranges from 81 to 83. Uh, par reading ranges from 92 to 430 or 1500 if you are that extreme. Anyhow, this light actually uh, offers good par value. Um, and it'll be a good addition to any light that you currently have already. So uh, as for my setup, I'm going to be using two of these lights along with the Atlantic uh, V4 Gen 2. All right, so let's take a closer look at the power supply. Uh, this power supply that comes with the unit here is rated at 60 watts on the output end. Uh, it is outputting 65 volts at 900 milliamps, so which equates to about 58.5 watts. And for this power supply, it's rounded up to 60 watts. So with this light being a four-footer, it has about 36 individual LEDs. And based on the 60-watt calculation here, uh, each LED is consuming 1.7 watts. So that is a little over half of its power. Now these LEDs are rated for 3 watts, so they can theoretically go up to 3 watts. But being that this is passive cool, or passively cooled, and not uh, actively cooled with a fan, Orphic had to run them at 1.7 watts to ensure that they don't overheat and to ensure that they last. Uh, but I can assure you if we did ramp this up uh, to 3 watts per LED, we'll probably get higher PAR reading. But uh, I will possibly maybe test that out in the future if I can get a power supply to output enough voltage and current. But for now, we'll leave it the way it is. And um, I just hope that you enjoy watching this video. I hope that it brought some value to you and some understanding on this light fixture and what it can uh, provide. Anyhow, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it down in the comments section below. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to follow me on this journey, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, until next time, happy reading.